everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinkerer Studio. In this Quixel Mixer tutorial for beginners, you will learn how to use Quixel Bridge to work with materials and models from Quixel Mixer in Blender 2.9. The link to download Quixel Mixer is in the description. So let's get on with the tutorial. We will be exploring how to set up Quixel Bridge so we can use materials from Quixel Mixer directly in Blender 2.9. We will also explore how to retexture a Megascan model within Blender using Quixel Bridge. I would recommend watching my Getting Started in Quixel Mixer video before proceeding with this tutorial. The first thing you need to do is download Quixel Bridge. Go to quixel.com slash bridge and download bridge. Make sure that you do not have Blender open. Install bridge. You'll be presented with a settings window where you can choose your local library file in your DCC slash engine. This can always be changed in bridge if you plan to use multiple pieces of software such as Blender and Unreal Engine. The plugin for Blender will automatically be set up. Open up Blender and hide your cube. Then open up Bridge. And you will need to sign in with your Quixel account. For this tutorial, I will use a free asset. Under the free section, open up 3D assets and download the street curbs asset. If you need to change where you want to export your asset to, select settings under the edit menu. Go to your local library, select the street curbs, and select export. When you go back to Blender, you can see your asset. In order to export materials to Blender, add a plane, add a subdivision surface modifier, use the simple algorithm, and increase your levels. Then go to your shading workspace. Then open up Bridge, and then export a material. Back in Blender, use the drop down menu beside the material name to open up your exported texture. Now I will show you how to retexture an asset and bring it into Blender. Open up Quixel Mixer and make a new mix. Open up your local library and load these street curves we just imported into Blender from Quixel Bridge. In the Layers tab, hide the Apply Texture by clicking on the eyeball next to the texture. Go back to your local library and choose another texture to place on the street curves. Under the Export tab, choose your export location, choose your file format, and then under File, choose Quick Export. Back in Blender, under the Shading Workspace, select the curb. Now all we have to do is open the new maps for each texture node. Now the object is successfully retextured. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.